I chose this program because um, I come from a classically trained background. I thought it would be interesting to uh, start my second album, which is my previous album actually is very classical impressionistic French music. And now I wanted to record an album and I thought let's start at the starting point of the classical work in contemporary music. So the, the people that really set the new uh, direction for the instrument. That's why I chose uh, Berio that I didn't perform last night, but uh, for the album and um, Takemitsu. Uh, Isang Yun, of course, is a bit later than Takemitsu and Birio, but I think it's a great addition um, because uh, the structure of the music is very different and I like that, that it is more focused on musical uh, storytelling instead of sound. Um, I am specifically very fond of Takemitsu because it's it really suits me. The way I see the harp very versatile and very uh, complex and very fun at the same time. It's not only beautiful and I think that I really like that about those composers like Berio and Takemitsu. They were so tired of the fixed image of the harpist and the harp. Uh, Berio I think even said in the liner notes of the sequenza that he wanted to uh, make a clean cut from the image that Impressionism left on the harp, which was an image of um, only beautiful glissandi, very beautiful sound, and a beautiful person playing the harp with very little uh, to wear, something like this. And I strongly identify with this idea of, I mean, the harp is beautiful. You don't need to play only beautiful. It will sound beautiful. It's a beautiful instrument, like every instrument. They sound good. You don't have to put good on top of good. It's also nice to explore what else can you get from the instrument. To me, those pieces uh, really capture that. And from there, I, I go. So I went exploring. Uh, the great thing about social media is you see what everybody's doing because everybody is exposing their work. And uh, I came across a composer called Valerio Sanicandro, Italian composer. And I uh, just checked his work on YouTube and on his website and I thought it's really interesting the way he, he looks at time and space and sound. Um, I never really experienced that before, especially not for the harp. So I approached him if he would be interested in writing a solo piece for harp. And he was, so I started the crowdfunding uh, successfully. So I now have the funds to pay him and he's working currently on a new piece for harp. And I think it will be something completely new. The way he described it to me, I think it will be a more percussive, and a different timbre oriented, which is interesting. I'm really excited about that.
Thank mm-hmm. you.